Hi everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kids. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my haul for the months of March and April 2023. I'm filming this a bit early, about a week early, because I don't anticipate um, buying anything else in this last week of April. And I thought whilst I have some time to film, I'd use the opportunity to. So I've got quite a lot to share with you and I'm really excited to share these things. So I hope you enjoy. Um, the first... Um, the first group of things are all from Devon. So we went during the Easter weekend to see my grandparents. So we went on Good Friday, came back on the Tuesday after. So it was really lovely. The weather was beautiful. And it's really sad because I don't think I will be going back for a while. Um, <clears throat> normally we do a summer trip, but we are going to Croatia with my grandparents this summer and Tom will actually be going on his own for a week um, and yeah I'm hoping to do some traveling around Europe although the interrailing planning is tricky at the moment it's not as easy as I thought it would be um, but if that uh, Tom was going to go away with um, my grandparents and go and see them whilst I was um, away traveling so yeah the only opportunity I'll have is potentially in September if my grandparents are happy to have me for a bit um, before I fingers crossed go off to uni so sorry long story short basically um, we went into some shops and had a lovely time going to various places in Devon and so because I'm not going back I was um, just seeing what there what there was there for this spring summer season so um, I'm going to show couple of things that won't be colouring related but um, I still thought it would be fun to share them and there wasn't really enough to do a full separate um, haul so I thought I'd just put it all in this video anyway. So the first thing which I definitely recommend trying out if you are ever in Devon um, is this Heron Valley Lemonade. So this company I first discovered in Devon, I don't know whether you can actually get the drinks um anywhere else but i think we went to rockfish which is a restaurant that basically just sells um fish we went in plymouth the first time and i got the raspberry you know strawberry lemonade and it was amazing and then we realized that there was a heron valley shop and cafe um quite close to where my grandparents are so we went there and it's so lovely it's got a lovely shop attached to it and you can buy all of these bottles of the the drink as well so i normally you know in a restaurant you just get a small 330 ml but these are 750 and they're really reasonable they're like four pounds for, for them so i haven't cracked open this one yet i'm probably going to save it for a bit um because i i love it so much um but the strawberry one's also very good and my grandma had already bought me some to have when I was there, which was really kind of her. So I enjoyed that whilst they, um, I was there and then decided to save this and bring a bottle back. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that, but I'd really recommend it. It's it just so authentic and you can definitely tell it's homemade as well. Um, and then I might not be able to remember all the shop names, but um, I got three Cambridge imprint papers. So also when we went this was the first time sort of discovering some shops so in Dartmouth um, we go there quite a lot there were some shops that I'd never been into before that I suddenly discovered and yeah I had never found anywhere that sold Cambridge imprint but there were these patterns that I hadn't seen before well I've seen them before but not uh, I've seen this one before but not the other two and these are smaller sheets than what you'd normally get if you ordered them online so I think originally these were, I'm trying to think where I've bought them before. I think when I've bought these before, they've been about £1.50 instead of £2.50 because they're the slightly smaller size. And I ended up getting them for pretty much the same price, which I was really impressed with considering they were from a shop and not from Cambridge Imprint directly. So <clears throat> this one, if you've seen anything that I've made with these before, this is a, a pattern that I've had many a time except when I've had it before it's been printed in a larger size so 
I've got a couple of these, um, this pattern in different colorways, but this one I think is beautiful. And I love that the little firework star shape is smaller. I, I do prefer the smaller shape. And then these ones, again, I haven't, I've seen these colors. They've done this, um, these particular colors many times with different patterns, but this pattern was a new one that I think I had spotted on the website. But for me, there's no point really doing an order on the website unless we're going to do quite a big order and so if my mum and I are both ordering stuff then it makes sense but otherwise if it's just for a few sheets of paper then I don't bother because the shipping's quite expensive and also I'm not getting as much time to actually use the papers as much so I just pick up a few here and there when I see them especially things like this where they're new um new patterns so yeah they're really lovely and I can't wait to use them for various projects but I just think the colours are so pretty then got Oh, so again, this isn't colouring related, but I really want to share it. Uh, this was from, I can't remember what the shop was called, but another shop from Dartmouth. And my grandma very kindly got this for me. Um, it's this really cute sea urchin. Uh, we have loads of shells and things that I've collected over the years from beaches um, and also urchins. And we've got a starfish as well that um we have in a, a dish in the bathroom and i saw this and i thought it was so pretty because it's got it's a green but then it's also got like gray bits on it so it was, it was so pretty and my grandparents had got me um a lovely clip which i will share in a second but they'd given tom the money because they hadn't got him anything um so they ended up giving him a little bit more and my grandma was like oh I'll um I'll get this for you and then um and then it's equal so yeah it's so kind of her because I was going to get this to add to the dish I don't know whether I am going to I can't decide whether to put it somewhere else or put it in the, the dish but I really like it and I, I'm sort of as I'm getting older there's just things that I notice when I go into shops I'm like I can't not go out of the shop not having got um like bought that and yeah, I think there are certain like knickknack things like this that I see and it just makes me really excited for when I hopefully one day have a house of my own and I can just fill it with things like this that make me really happy. It's like when I got this last year from Totnes in Devon and this was the first piece of artwork that I had bought myself and I can just imagine myself like taking this as one of the things that I, you know, I want to decorate my uni room with. And it's things like that just that just make me so happy and excited for the future. So, yeah, I really, really love this. It's just something really small and obviously reminds me of the sea and, and Devon as well. I'm just going to put that away. I was really worried on the journey back that it would get damaged, but luckily it didn't. Um, this is the clip. Um, so I've seen loads of people with um, clips similar to this and I have some um, but they're quite a bit smaller so I've got some that are like this and because my hair is so thick it doesn't always um, manage to get all of my hair especially if I'm trying to put it up and my grandparents had seen some when they were in Lanzarote but they didn't really they, they knew that um, I really liked them but they didn't find any at the time that um, were I guess the the right color and they knew that there was a shop in Totnes that sold them and so they said they picked me one um one up for me and I love it it's so secure it's it's so secure it's actually quite hard to um open because well it's really good that it is because my hair is so so thick so yeah it's lovely color I really really like it and it just grips my hair so well and let me see if I can yeah, there we go uh, it's even got the little spikes so that it's really secure, but it's great. I love it. So thank you so much. Come on, come back. Um, also got this scrunchie, which Grandma very kindly um, got for me. So there's a shop called Paper Bird Island in Salkham. Now, I was really, really upset a few years ago because they closed for a while. And luckily... They relocated pretty much on the same street that it was on before. But if you are ever in Devon, Solcombe is just the 
this beautiful place. I, you know, we used to go every summer with my grandparents and just, I, I love it so much. Um, but yeah, Paper Bell Island was a shop that came around just before the pandemic, I think. And as I said, then they, then they relocated. So for a couple of trips when we were down there, it wasn't open at all. Um, but yeah, I think the lady who runs the shop, she's on Instagram. I think she handmade these and this is Liberty fabric. So of course I was immediately drawn to it because I love the Liberty designs and I wear scrunchies all the time, either, um, around my wrist or actually in my hair. I'm always a little bit more careful with the ones that I have made because I have made a couple of scrunchies myself in the past and I know that, you know, you do have to be careful with them. Essentially, I think it's it's like a hairband that's just tied together in really tight knots. You sort of cut it, um, feed it through the material. Um, so I, yeah, I'm just trying to be a bit careful with it because I don't want it to break obviously, but really like it and um, lovely colour palette as well um, and also from Paper Bird Island this is the so she prints the logo onto her bags as well I've got a couple of cards um sorry I'm shaking the camera oh wait yeah I've got a couple of cards now I've definitely shown before I have a frame above my desk which I'm looking at right now and it's got three cards on it from Paper Bird Island and I think I got them last summer and I had them up on my wall and uh, I really wanted a, a frame to put them in and again that's something I can sort of see myself taking into to uni. I really love cards because they are like mini prints in themselves so I thought what it would be really nice to do is get a couple more and then if I wish to I can change them in and out um, like interchange them because they're exactly the same size. So this is Paper Bird Island, I'll show that in a sec. Yeah, she's got these really cute cards um and yeah so i've got these two so this one is very much in the same style as um the three i've already got so she watercolors these all herself and this one i've got a heart and then two that are similar to this with uh trees and, and buildings so i could swap this out with the heart but i also really liked this bird one so it's quite different from the others but I thought it was really pretty um, and just, yeah, so beautiful. So yeah, her name is Alice. Um, I'll just hold that up for you there. But yeah, very, very excited about those. Even if I don't end up putting them in the frame, I could still put them up on my wall. Um, I also have this little stand. Sorry, I'm going really off topic. This is going to be such a long video. Um, this little stand, which I could put them in. And this came with uh, a calendar with pictures of a family that my mum made. So that could also go in there. So yeah, quite a few options for how I could display these, but I thought they were really pretty. Um, and then from the Heron Valley shop, they also had some other Cambridge imprint things, which were these. So I've had yellow ones of these in the past which my mum gave me with some beautiful envelopes and I've never seen them in the different colours so uh, they were very good value they were basically the same as what they'd be on the website if not cheaper so yeah I've got these lovely colours and these are just little notelets I usually write messages on this side you can also write on the other side because the other side is blank um blank as well but it's just so, you know, you can tell it's Cambridge imprint. They're just such a distinct design and I think they're so beautiful and I love those colours. So very, very happy with those. So I'll just move those out of the way. I also got a sticker as well, the Paper Bird Island sticker. Um, and then got a couple more things to show you now. They actually are both candles, but for different purposes. I'm definitely not going to use this one, um, which sounds really strange, but hopefully you'll see what I mean in a second. So this is a mushroom candle, which I got from a shop called Nest and Nettle, which is a stop-off place. So there's a stop-off place we always go to on the way, and it's got a cafe and also this little like pop-up shop in a shed, and it's so pretty. And this 
I originally saw in Anthropology, which is a shop that's around quite a lot in different um, towns and cities. But I saw it and I think in Anthropology it was about £13, something like that. It was really expensive. And for me, I was like, well, I don't really want to to spend that much on it especially if I know that I'm not going to burn it because for me this is just too pretty to burn I could not um and especially since it doesn't have a scent for me usually when I burn candles it's for the for the scent and aroma but yeah I just cannot burn that this again will be something that I will just display um because I think it's it's too pretty um so yeah I really like it but I think it was 7.95 Anyway, it was so much cheaper than what I had originally um, seen it as. I couldn't believe that um, they had it because I thought it was just something specific to anthropology. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think it's so pretty. And then I also got this candle, which I'm sort of umming and ahhing about whether I'm going to burn it quite yet because it's so, it, again, the scent is so nice. It is so nice. Um, it's ocean sea salt. This is a coconut wax candle, and this was from the same shop as the sea urchin. Um, 20 hour burn, and it's a small candle. Again, this was really good value. I think this was £6. Now, I might not actually be able to open this, but it's just got the most beautiful scent. And even just keeping it in a room for a while, the scent, you can just smell it. So I think I'm probably just going to keep it out and hopefully let the... Um, scent just going into the air so I can smell it that way before I actually decide to burn it I know it's got 20 hours but uh yeah it's just so lovely so yeah I really like that so the other things I got from Devon so I will just move these out of the way um and yeah then I will show you the rest of the items so I will be moving on to the colouring stuff very shortly, but I have a couple more things to, to share with you. The first thing is not colouring related at all, but I just thought I'd share it because these have been a game changer for me. Um, these are Soundcore wireless earphones and so many of my friends have had wireless earphones. And I was like, well, I've got normal earphones. Don't really know what all of the, the hype is about. Um, and then my earphones broke and I was going to get the same ones again. And I have to be quite careful about what um earphones I have because my ears are quite small and they tend to hurt if you know if they're not very comfortable ones so I did end up finding these ones on Amazon and they were about 20 pounds and I thought well I'll give them a go see what everybody's talking about and I have been using them every single day every single day I just can't tell you how good they've been when I'm tidying my room and I'm listening to music or watching a video or something I just can have them in I can go up and you know all around my house pretty much and they will stay connected which is brilliant um and i'm not very good at tech stuff so i didn't know how easy it would be for me to connect them and uh they connect automatically to my phone now and yeah they're just they're so good and i love the color as well they are this beautiful mint green color and I, i've just i've been using them every day i keep them in my coat pocket all the time and I really recommend the company. I think they're good. They're obviously they're not AirPods, but they do the same job. And I think they really professional, really sleek um, packaging as well. I just love them. So yeah, I would definitely recommend if you're looking for some. They have them in lots of different colours. I personally really like this case. And my brother Tom, he has some uh, he has some headphones in the nugget shape. And I don't really want those ones ever I don't think because they they sort of sit inside your ear and I'd be so worried about not being able to actually feel them on the side of my ear you know just in case they fell out so these ones because they have the like strip you can you can feel them on the side of uh, your ear so I always know they're secure and they're actually um in place so yeah they're great really love them and the color is just so good but i think they have them in white and black and a few other colors as well so yeah there are those and then also something that i got today we were visiting um my other grandparents who were in the cotswolds and i got these lovely think of me cards i have another set of these that i've almost finished and i got them in my stocking a few years ago i don't know where they were from actually but these 
are just great for when I'm sending things to people or just wanting to write a really quick note or do washi tape samples. They're just really sweet cards and I loved this design. Just thought it was so pretty. Um, and as I said, I'm re I was really upset because I'd almost finished all the other ones in um, in the packets. So I was like, well, am I ever going to be able to get them again? And then I randomly saw them today. And I didn't actually get a present for Easter. Um, there were a couple of manga books or something, I think, that Tom was interested in. And um, for Easter, my mum and dad got him some. But my mum just gave me the money. I was just like, just get some things for yourself that, that you'd like. So I, I've, I've still got some of it, but I, I got these and I'm so happy with them. And I can't wait to use them. So, yeah, they are those. So I now have four books to share with you and also some pencils so these are all colouring related now so um I, I always like to include the other stuff but I, I do appreciate it. if it's not your thing feel free to skip the video I won't be offended um but yeah I just quite like sharing you know the majority of things that I buy this month uh at least two months I should say I did buy a lot more than I did in the last couple of months and more than I would generally just because there were new books that were coming out and also we went to Devon's that was also you know holiday spending extra spending that I would wouldn't have normally done but the first thing the pencils that I'm about to show you were actually able to be purchased because of all of you so I just want to thank you all so much these were bought with um my first installment of money that I got from YouTube and I'm just so grateful because I have been wanting these. I can't explain to you how long I've been wanting to finally manage to get this set. Um, and yeah, I'm just so thrilled with them and I can't wait to use them. So I managed to get the Black Edition Faber-Castell pencils. This is the 100 set. So um, I first came across these years and years ago when my friend Sue Wilkinson very kindly sent me the 36 sets. I use them loads, absolutely love them. I've since given those to my mum or I've still got them in my, um, I've still got them with my other pencils, but whenever my mum and I colour together, she uses them and she really likes them. I think they are fantastic pencils, one for the price and two, considering they are meant to be, I guess, a budget line um, that Faber-Castell do, or at least they're not, they're not like um, the polychromers, like they don't have the same packaging um, as those. I actually think they do stand up to them. I think they're, personally for me, I think they're softer. They just work really well in conjunction with other pencils. I've used them with Black Widow pencils. I think they work brilliantly. And uh, what other pencils? They're not as soft as... Prismacolor but sometimes depending what book I'm working in I can find Prismacolor is too soft so they're just great and the colour range is fantastic as well I do have them swatched out and I will share them with you but I always found the thing that was lacking with the polychromos was the fact that they don't have enough light colours and I think they've just hit the nail on the head with these they just have such a great colour selection they're brilliant so this 100 set I had known about for a while um I knew that you could get them in other European countries but you could just not get them in the UK and I think it was probably this time last year Sue Berry very kindly sent me the 50 set which I have been using so much and I'm very grateful now but I have some backups for pencils as well but I use those loads um and I've used them in some Rita Berman books I took them on holiday with me and I think since September of 2022 I had been sort of looking and I was like, oh, well, are they available anywhere? And I had no luck at all. Um, some of you very, very kindly messaged me on Instagram and offered to um, send them to me. But at the time, because Sue had kindly sent me the 50 set, I was like, well, I'll, I'll wait for a while. You know, I want to appreciate using the pencils that I already have. And maybe sometime in the future, I will get the bigger set if I can ever find it. So a few weeks ago I was scouting around and I was having no luck at all because I, I wanted to find something that I knew I'd really love um, to to use and um, to play around with with the money that I got from YouTube because it just meant so much. 
and um Anne very kindly reached out to me Anne from AB Colouring um one I'll put her uh link to her YouTube in the description she very kindly got in contact with me when I put a post out on my story um saying that she could potentially find them for me um and send them which just meant so much it was such an incredible and and you know kind gesture so uh, yeah on several occasions she went to the actual faber castell shop in germany and managed to find them and and yeah she sent them to me and um i managed to so they i think they were 55 euro so i ended up paying less that way than i would have done if i'd managed to find them anywhere else um i think when i've been looking on websites um or other amazon uh, websites they were just going to be so expensive so i couldn't believe the the price first of all and um the the shipping was not very expensive either so yeah Anne was so kind because she she said oh it, it might work out cheaper if I buy the pencils and then send them to you rather than just ordering them from a website so that's how that's how we ended up doing it and I just yeah can't thank you enough Anne because this would not have been possible and I just really really appreciate it we've obviously spoken but yeah I'm just so grateful and I can't wait to use these. Um, and I did not expect anybody to get back to me when I put that post out. So, yeah, it meant a lot. And, um, yeah, so excited to use them. So this is the packaging. It's really cool. Um, you open it up and it comes in this, this packaging here. Um, but I decided to put them into a pencil case just so that they're more secure. So I will show you them now. I've had to rearrange everything. I, I'm running out of space in my cases now but I wanted to give them their own um, case originally I was like well do I mix them with my Black Widow pencils but I decided to keep them separate um, because there are definitely so many colours here normally I mix my pencils but I tend now with Black Widows and Holbein's to keep them separate um, when I'm colouring pictures, and I think the same will be for these, I will just colour pictures exclusively with these without mixing pencils together. But yeah, these are the colours. So I just think the range is brilliant. I do. I just can't get over the, the vibrancy, first of all, considering that they're... I think I might be wrong. I think they're meant to be... A, a budget line they certainly perform so much better than that um but yeah you can i think on amazon uk you can maybe buy the neons and the pastels separately in a set of 12 there's a set of skin tones and i think they are probably made up of these colors already so they've just taken it's either a 12 or 24 set um again they've taken colors from this set and made them into a smaller set and this is the order that comes this is the order that they come in when when you order them um so i haven't moved any of them around yet and i don't think i will i think i'll keep them in this order and the other thing i was really excited about was they had numbers so my other pencils have not got numbers on them so that's probably going to be the only tricky thing trying to match them up but yeah they they have numbers i can't I can't believe that i knew that some sets did but i didn't think the the ones that um and got me wood because on some places that I'd um, seen, you could clearly see on the front of the packaging that they, they had them. Um, there are a couple of different packaging styles actually mentioning that. Um, there are some that look a bit different, but be assured that they're the same pencils. They're sometimes referred to as super soft pencils, which is what is on my um, packaging. And sometimes they don't have that. Um, but yeah, they're they're the same pencils and they perform exactly the same to the ones that I've tried um, previously. So yeah, I just think the colours are lovely. All of these muted tones is just beautiful. Um, this pink especially. Love that one. Um, and yeah, lovely grey blues here as well. Some really deep tones. 
so yeah i can't wait to use these on a picture no doubt it will probably be a rita bowman page because i feel like i know her style quite well so it won't be as daunting to try a new set um, if i'm using her pencils and i'm really excited pencils using her um using a page of hers very excited to try the neons i do actually use neons quite a lot i used to loads if i was using i use them as a base and then go over with other pencils and it gives a really nice effect so yeah maybe i will give some those a try as well they weren't actually very waxy compared to other the other pencils i found sometimes like with the holbein ones they're really waxy and they've got more I don't know, they seem to have more of a filler in them and they just work very differently but I didn't have that with these and one thing I'm very excited is that they didn't waste space with um, metallic pencils because I just frankly never use metallics so neons I do use and I think that they have a valuable place in the set um, for me anyway because even when they're quite light you can't really tell they're neon apart from the yellow and the orange and the pink but these colours are almost look just like they're you know the normal pencils and they could fit into the set the pastels great addition as well it's brilliant so you know if you were interested in the set and you have the polychromos there are colors in the set that you will not find in the polychromos and they would work really well in conjunction they do work differently i'd say that from having tried them previously they feel like they have more wax in them than oil so they're not they're they've got a completely different formula to the polychromos but if you like mixing pencils and you're used to mixing different pencil sets then i don't see why that would be an issue um but yeah just very excited to try these out and now i'm just going to have to make sure that i don't get these mixed up with the black widows because the design of them is quite similar although i really like the fact that these are triangular um is the word ergonomic is that the word um yeah they just feel really really nice like they're like the statler ergo soft um so yeah super excited so thank you so much again and um i will send you a picture when i start working with them and i'm just so excited can't wait so yeah there are those and then i have four books to share with you i will go through the first few fairly quickly because i'm sure you will have you'll probably have seen all of these books by now but um i'd like to share them anyway so the first one is flowerscape in paradise by maggie and Therios. Uh, i've got a flip through of this up on my channel um, maggie very kindly sent this to me i did a review of her first book when it came out um yeah she got in contact and um offered to send me her second book which i was so excited about i have completed a picture in it i won't um show it to you just yet because i will be sharing it in my completed pages and I have not completed much this month at all. So if I share the page now, there'll basically be no point in me doing a video. Um, yeah, if you want to know more about the book, see I have the flip through. There's lots of other um, flip throughs out there as well. But the really cool feature is scanning the page for reference um, and being able to see the colours. Um, so technically, if you wanted to use markers, you could sort of treat the book as being one sided because you have the main images all on the right hand side and then just the practice ones on the left hand side. So um, it's up to you whether you would want to sacrifice the small image on the other side. But um, I have used acrylic paint in this and there is a little bit of buckling, but nothing too major at all. Um, but yeah, it's just so beautiful. So this is the second book which is now the companion book to Flowerscape. So they look really nice together. And yeah, it's really tough with that. So that's a beautiful book. Then we have Enchanted Earth. I managed to find this at the works in early March. I could not believe that it was already there because it was nearly a month in advance and they already had it. Um, it was released, I believe, in the UK at the end of, end of March. So yeah, it was six pounds. And I think it's fairly good value on Amazon at the moment. But I've been seeing it normally for about, yeah, 10, 11 pounds. So, yeah, a really good deal. And again, one sided. The images are beautiful. I've got my eye on a couple of the music ones that I really like. This one's my other favourite. The paper is a little bit thinner. I haven't worked in this yet, so I don't know how much of a difference that will make. Um, but, yeah, I haven't haven't decided yet whether I'm going to use pencil and do loads of shading or whether I will just keep this as a um, marker gel pencil book I think I probably will not that I mean I have books where I do more serious coloring and then others where well I'll show you examples in the her, other books in a second 
um, where I will just go to town, use whatever I want and not worry too much about the outcome. So we will see. But there's there's definitely some pages that just scream out at me like, yes, really want to do that. Um, but I think there are a couple that aren't quite as, you know, out my street as the others are. I still think that her most rounded, well-rounded book is Circle of Life, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, I, I just think that so many of these pages remind me of um, Circle of Life um because i really i just really like the cyclical pages um but i like the seam ones like this as well it's more the ones with the where the object has been made out of a scene they're the ones that i don't gravitate towards um as much but that's just my opinion i know so many people love this and it's um their first uh, favorite book of hers so that is enchanted earth and then these are her other two books so we've got Circle of Life, as I said. This is um, quite an old book now, really. I think it's must be three, going on three years, maybe. I do love it. And I'm kicking myself because there are some pages that I'm not as pleased with that I did a while ago now. So if I ever see this for £5 again, this might be... A book that I get a second copy of yeah things like this I I really like how they've turned out but I just know that I would add more depth in now if I was to do them again but yeah I still really love this book and I just haven't liked it for a while um, and then there's nature mandalas this one is very kindly well both of these were sent by Sue but this one um, is definitely more of a marker just have fun with it sort of book so I used gel pens um and some brush markers so they're sort of like tombos but um i think they're shuttle art ones so yeah just had fun blacking out the background and then just using those so for me i love that these are mandalas but they still have objects in them so that's why this is a great book because they're still you still sort of feel like they're they're scenes so yeah they are three of her books now um, and then the next book I have to show with you is Leila Dooley's Beautiful Planet. Um, hopefully by the time you see this video, I should have put a flip through out or you will be seeing one shortly. Hopefully there should be one at some point. But this was a book that I was so excited about when I first saw it. Um, I think I had known about it for quite a few months before April. Um, I think I must have seen a sneak peek or something on... Um, skittle dog the publisher's instagram but it's very kindly sent this um by leila and i just love it the her style is very much the same but there are there's a lot more versatility in the the style and the things she's drawing so we've got lots of sea elements um lots of smaller things as well which I really appreciate because I don't have a lot of time anymore sorry I, I, I can't get the whole of this in, in the shot it's such a big book but this is a lot bigger than the flower year I think it might even be bigger than A4 but it's lovely so yeah won't show too much because as I said I will be doing the full flip through but the lovely fold out card cover as well yeah, I just think it's so beautiful. I mean, I mean, the flower year still has a very special place in my heart, and I do think that that will forever be my favourite book of hers. But I love the versatility and the difference in images in this. And, you know, when I'm not feeling flowers, but I still want to colour Layla Doody, then I will definitely gravitate towards this. Um, I have coloured a page in Flora Bunda before, but because the paper's quite different, I don't use pencil as much in that. I sort of just play around with watercolour. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to starting something in this. I've got so many new books to play around with. I'm so excited. But, you know, as is always the case with Lady Dewey's work, I'm so intimidated by it because it's so beautiful. But I just need to get over that and work in it. Um, and then the last book I have to share with you is this one, which I'm sure you've seen on many people's channels. Um, this one I originally saw on Amazon Japan. And I haven't seen a flip through of it. Uh, and I, I'm always a little bit dubious about buying books, especially from Amazon Japan when they're a bit more expensive without having seen a flip through. Um, so I waited until there were some flip throughs. Um, so that's really kind. You know, the, the YouTube channels out there that 
that do flip throughs of these these books um is just great because i think it might have been um the channel grumble bunny i could be wrong um that i saw it on first but i know that kay's got this book and she loves it kate from kate's coloring haven's got it um and yeah it's wonderful so this one is in the same series as the World Mouse Yuri book. I don't think, I could be wrong, I don't think it's the same illustrator, but it's the same series. So there are four of these books now. There's a cat one and a bear one as well. But I'm probably not as interested in getting in, um, getting as I was with these ones, just because they're not um, as much my style. But this one is so lovely. I love the slightly sketchy style. I love the we go through the seasons again with this one my favorite feature are these pages with um lots of small things so there are some where's the other example the tea one i love that all the different teas um so yeah there's a lot to have fun with in this and again i haven't got around to working in this yet but i just think it's so pretty and there are so many gorgeous images um but yeah, it's very much the same sort of style as the Yuri book, and I love this one. This is probably still my favourite. Um, it's one of my all-time favourite books, and again, it's one that I need to get around to more. But I coloured that one this time last year. But I love that they go really well together now on the shelves. Um, so yeah, there are full flip-throughs out there if you're interested in getting this one. Amazon Japan is actually a lot more reasonable than if you buy an Etsy, so I think this was... £10 for the book and then like £8 for shipping something like that it was really reasonable because normally you'd pay over £20 just for the book itself sometimes on Etsy so it's definitely worth checking Amazon Japan out it used to be way too complicated for me and I could never figure out how to order from there but it's um either it was just me not being <laughs> very good with technology or it's just got a lot easier over the years but um yeah so good um I really like that one and you can also download a pdf if you want to print things out on different paper or you want to just test out colors and there's also loads of color combinations on there as well so yeah that's everything that i have to share with you i really hope you've enjoyed this has been quite a long video so um thank you so much if you've managed to get to the end um but yeah i love doing these videos so they are um bi-monthly videos now so i'm doing them every couple of months um just because normally in a month i don't get that much but it's ended up that there's been quite a lot but yeah thank you so much for watching everything's down below as usual and i will see you all in my next video take care everyone bye <laughs>